check that thing out. Woo, 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 woo. What do we have here today, folks? We have the Cockspur, Cockspur coral tree. Look at this thing. And it's, it's uh, almost Thanksgiving. So what else is blooming this time of year? Uh, you can look, look at these beautiful flowers on the ground. This is one of the more cold hardy uh, coral trees. This thing's hardy to like 15 degrees or so. It'll die back, but you just trim it back real hard. This tree actually requires quite a bit of maintenance to look good. So I often don't plant it because of that. But I did plant one in front of my mom's house and she loves it, but it takes a lot of... Are you gonna give me a flower so I can show everybody? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There, look at that. Uh, there you go, look at the color. Isn't that beautiful? It's native to uh, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and Brazil. It makes these seed pods right here. Seed pods have seeds in them right there. And those seed pods will prolifically make some baby trees. So if you want a free coral tree, I bet you they probably won't care. You come up and pull out. Oh, that's really hard. You come up and get, call my buddy Doug. He's in charge of grounds maintenance. I bet he would love to get rid of some of these seedlings in here. <laughs> there they are. So I guess it could be semi-invasive, but look at the structure in the tree. It's really beautiful. Super beautiful tree. So there you go. The uh, Erythrina cristagalli, the cockspur coral tree from South America. And um, wonderful climbing tree, but you will need to train that tree. You can see all these fresh cuts that they've made to continually train this tree, but it's worth it to have one or two. You don't want to plant like 50 of these things, but what beautiful, what beautiful color this time of year when not much else is blooming. You have some beautiful red.